Hi everyone, I'm Ben Mims, cooking columnist for the LA Times. Here I have with me Mr. Lucas Kwan Peterson, also a columnist for the LA Times. Welcome to the Big Mayo Taste Test. This all came about because I posted my mayonnaise preference on Instagram and other people said their brands were actually better. So we're gonna put that to the test. Mayonnaise is an emulsification of egg yolks and oil. Lemon juice, uh, salt and pepper, any kind of spices you wanna put into it, sugar if you want. It's a sandwich lubricant. It's something I actually like dipping my fries in it. Mm -hmm. I think by and large, they're probably all gonna taste the same. So we're gonna see which ones so, if any. So let's get to it. <laughs> let's get to it. So first up, this has been my favorite because it's basically like the one that I think everyone has the most access to. And I grew up with it. Best Foods, also known as Hellman's. Got some bubbles. You can see like remnants of bubbles. It's kind of fluffy. I think a meringue. It's rich. Rich. Has a slight tang. I went to get their organic one just to see if that made a difference. So literally same brand. Same ingredients, but now it's organic. It's not as light, fluffy, and airy. Clear kind of color difference. So let's try this out and see how it is. I think this one tastes like paint. <laughs> There's something about it that's not. It does have a paint flavor. Yeah, that's not appealing. <laughs> All right, next we have Kraft. I'm pretty excited about this because this is the one that most other food professionals I know, they were like, this is actually the best. So you have that fluffiness mm, again. It is, yeah, jiggly. Mmm. So this has dried garlic. I think I like, I think I like this one pretty yeah, good. This one's pretty good. <laughs> when you get the garlic aioli on the fries, the, this is sort of what this approximates more. All right, so the next one is Whole Foods. That's very like perfectly like an ice cream cone. <laughs> very thick. Ooh. Well, it has mustard in it. Or has mustard seeds. I, I like a little. It. I like a little mustard in the mayo. Also available at Whole Foods is Spectrum, which I feel like a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> Not the most glamorous name or label. Tell them my Wi-Fi is slow. This is like this is some. Oh, that's very thick. Yeah, that won't even come off the spoon. Oof. And also, it has the kind of same color as the other organic one. This is organic too. So something in the organic ingredients are really throwing off the color. Yeah, this is like mayonnaise you can chew for a while. <laughs> it's like bubble gum. Okay, now we're throwing in a wild card. This is not available in LA, but I had to get it because everyone talked about how Duke's is the best. Oh, very smooth. Okay. It's definitely tangy. It has a, like a real umami. It's, it's pretty like umami rich to me. Well, it does say natural flavors. We're never gonna know. But I no, like it. I think it. you're right. We're getting into some more organic ones. This is a local Southern California brand, Ojai Cook. Oh, it's a little thick. Very thick. Kind of holds its shape. <laughs> we got to find out what that paint flavor is. I think it's what it's from. Yeah, and maybe it's mustard. Watch mustard be like used in paint. We didn't even know about it or something, but oh, yeah. it's not bitter. It's not acrid. It's just like, it's like fumey. It's a little fumey. Yeah, yeah whatever that kinda is. It kind of goes up your nose a little. Yeah. Like mustard does. Like mustard does. Yeah. I think you're right. I think that's exactly what we're tasting. Oh yeah, let's just size. So now we have Sir Kensington. They definitely have more of a homemade look to it. This one's like oh. very, Hey now. <laughs> little dots of like pepper or seasonings and things. That's how you know it's good when you can see dots of things. Ooh. That's definitely, that definitely has spices in it. Uh-huh. Got the cane sugar again, mustard flour, black pepper. I can get down with that. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's totally. I see why people like it. It incorporates the mustard well. This is Primal Kitchen. It's another kind of Southern California brand. This is um, avocado oil. Okay, so this one's thicker. Ooh. Ooh.
Very rosemary. Tastes like limeade almost. Disinfectant lime yep. taste. Yep. Which is weird because -uh. I wouldn't think rosemary tastes like lime, but in this application, it tastes like lime, lime in a bad way. Don't like it. Now we have, now we're getting into the vegan territory. This is chosen foods, but instead of eggs, we have chickpea broth. So first of all, let's look at this texture. This moves in Ooh, the jar. Oh yeah, that's it's about a, to fall like right a, out. You can pour, like a, pour it onto the plate. This is like a sauce. Boom. Oh yeah. So this is our vegan avocado oil. It has chickpea liquid. <laughs> My biggest complaint is that it's so runny. It's very soupy. It the tastes, flavor, whatever. Yeah, it tastes like a chickpea spread. Well, so now we have, so we have our kind of small batch vegan. Uh huh. Now we have best mm. foods vegan. But it's not as airy as the other best foods. And it's much wider. Yeah, this and is it is a wider. Yellow tint yeah. to it. You can turn it, hold it upside down. It's gonna fall though. It will fall. Ooh, that's a nice thud to it. Now let's see what this one is made of. I just get paint again. <laughs> I don't know. I If I were a vegan, I'm trying to decide if I would rather have something that was just advertised itself as like, yeah, we're made of chickpeas. It's going to taste like chickpeas. Yeah. Or we're going to try to approximate mayonnaise and fail. I might rather have just the chickpeas. The chickpea juice. I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> just be yourself, vegetables. So now we have our wild cards at the end. Okay. Everyone said that this McCormick mayonnaise with lime, which is actually made in Mexico, distributed by McCormick is actually the best. So, okay. put it right here. Do you taste lime? I don't taste a ton of lime. I thought this would be very limey. But it's good. The paprika, the red pepper, it's maybe just for color because this has like a orange, red world tint to it. I just find it interesting that they market it with lime juice, but mm -hmm. you don't really taste lime. But it tastes like a really good mayonnaise. Yeah, it's just a solid mayonnaise, I think. Yeah. All right, now, oof. I've resisted eating this since I was a kid. Apparently it's supposed to be very sweet. You either love it or you hate it. And apparently people who hate it is most of the world. All right. It has the same texture as some of the other mayonnaises. I'm very nervous. Nervous? You're past the I'm gonna eat it at the same time as you. All right. One, two. Ooh, it's, it's pretty thick. Yeah. Three. No! No! <laughs> No! Ooh. Tastes like sweet pickle juice. No. Let's, let's review our top. Let's review our top picks again. Dukes and Kraft are in the top three. McCormick doesn't really taste that different than to you. best foods yeah. to me. Maybe it's a tie for third. Yeah, I think it is a tie. I think Kraft, number one. Sure. Duke, number two. Sure. And then. Best Foods, McCormick, number three. I'm down with that. Miracle of last. So in summation, dun 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 dun. Kraft Mayo, I think. The people who told me this was the best, they're right. I was wrong. Good to have our uh, horizons expanded. If you wanna make your own, if you're like, I'm still skeptical, let me make it myself. We have a recipe for you on latimes.com slash food. Notification squad, smash that like. You're probably wondering why I look cool right now. If you have glasses, a great way to not lose your mask, you just loop it over your glasses thing. Look at that. Wow. And then, oh, my mask, it's right there. Smash that like.